As mentioned earlier, several divisions of the Colombo District Secretariat will begin operating from the Timirigasa Divisional Secretariat from tomorrow. Now, the main building of the Colombo Divisional Secretariat or the Colombo Kachari was completely destroyed in a fire that broke out last night. Meanwhile, the government and Nalis commenced investigations today to ascertain the cause of the blaze. A fire broke out at 7.40 last night in the upper floor of the Colombo Kacheri building from which the Colombo Divisional Secretariat operates. The fire had spread to the entire building owing to the presence of highly flammable materials such as documents and the wood used in the building. The fire department noted that the dry timber had caused the fire to spread rapidly. It took five hours for the fire to be doused. The fire department noted that the Ministry of Disaster Management informed them about the fire at around 8 last night. Mimasani Gin Visala was in Patilla Mulgurnagil ground. The fire spread rapidly in this building and we had to seek assistance. The main issue was obtaining water. The water in the fire engines were not sufficient. The nature of the building caused the fire to spread. We had to travel half a kilometer up and down to obtain water. Mimasani in the kilometer baga kitre yata gamangaranduna watura puruagan. Although the fire was doused, smoke continued to rise from several sections of the building even by this afternoon. The building was constructed by the British in 1833 after Colombo was named the capital. Well, I'm at the Colombo Cartier building. Now, what you see behind me is just a section of where the fire took place. Now, according to authorities, the fire took place at around 7.40 last night. But, however, the reason for the fire is yet to be ascertained. Now, the government and list department has been uh, deployed to carry out investigations. As soon as investigations are concluded, the reason for the fire will be released. The fire had caused major damage to the planning, finance and administrative divisions of the Colombo District Secretariat. The archives where all the old documents were stored is located here. It contained important documents in relation to the development in the district, documents from the respective ministries and other state institutions. We will be able to find some documents once we enter. And it is after assessing the damage that we can take measures. The district secretary noted that the damage cannot be estimated until the government analysis completes his investigation. The government analysis had not commenced investigations until 2 this afternoon. The police said that the cause of the fire cannot be ascertained until the government analysis completes his investigation. Our cameras captured the manner in which officials of the government analysis department commenced work this evening. One section of the destroyed building has been declared out of bounds to all personnel and security has been beefed up at that premises. The district secretary said that a stock of firearms that were to be disposed of was also inside the building. He added that as the army has records of the stock of arms, there will be no issue with regard to obtaining the records. In addition, Colombo District Secretary Kamal Padmasiri noted that the general public will be able to obtain information relating to births, deaths and marriage certificates as well as pensions without any hassle. He noted that they hope to continue operations of the District Samurdi Division, the License Division, the Census Division, the Small Enterprises Division and other divisions from tomorrow. Meanwhile, the Minister of Public Administration and Home Affairs, W.D. Jasenamiratna, inspected the destroyed building today. Uh, Several parts of this building were destroyed owing to the fire. According to the information I received, the Finance Division and the Administrative Division and the archives were damaged. Everything in the upper floor has been destroyed. Uh, Meanwhile, United National Party parliamentarian Ravi Karunanayaka also visited the location. We have to question how such fires arise. Later they will say that the important documents of the people are not where they were. Will people have to face problems with regard to their residence? Because we consider this as a dangerous situation, we came here to determine how we can protect this place and to render our support as the opposition.